Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. Native Hawaiian Reforestation, Polynesian Food Crops, and showcasing nature all working harmoniously. That's just part of what's already happening on Wahiwa Ag Land, once a haven for illegal dumping and criminal activity. Thought it'd be after the new year, but this is nine acres right here. I met with Scott Wong, CEO of Ohana Hui Ventures, who's leasing 433 acres of ag land in Wahiwa. It's just a small portion of more than 4,200 acres owned by the Agribusiness Development Corporation, land notorious for criminal activity used as a dumping ground for years. After more than a year of hard work clearing the land and environmental testing to ensure it's safe, Wong was given approval to plant. He's ready to put it to good use. Our plan here on this property is to grow Polynesian vegetables, Asian vegetables, industrial hemp, and a reforestation project. He's not working alone. He's partnering with several other farmers, like Tristan Manuel of Maoli Farms, whose focus is Hawaiian plants like mamake and olena. This is our mamake, so this will end up being our commodity. Manuel's plan is to turn this 30,000 square foot area into a Hawaiian forest using plants that were native to this area. The forest we're creating will be the foundation of my native Hawaiian herbs. So my crops will go into the forest and we'll be able to harvest them and they'll be able to thrive and grow. Wong's reforestation plan will also incorporate ideas and methods discovered on a one acre parcel of land right next to Whitmore Village. Keone Ford, another of Wong's partners, gave me a tour through what they call Eden. What I love about this food forest is that you don't have to go very far <laughs> to harvest. So, oh my God. So here we are, just as simply as turning the corner. This garden was planted by Uncle Ray. He was a community member, a resident. And uh, we want to use the, the intention of Uncle Ray and the garden that he created here to showcase um, Polynesian food farming. Ford says they identified 36 kinds of avocado, 20 kinds of citrus, and countless other plants and fruits, all growing together in harmony. They plan to use the area to share and teach the community and want to plant similar areas on the outskirts of their farm. In a statement, the Agribusiness Development Corporation said this is the culmination of major strides made in the past three years to make their vacant land in central Oahu suitable for farming. They want to thank the community for their patience. They worked very hard to clean up and fill the occupied land.